Good morning. This is Betty, Fancy Grandma. I'm going to make you another video. If you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I make a new one. And send me a comment and a like. Hit the like button if you like them. Anyway, I'm going to make you something simple, simple, simple. And it's something I used to make for my kids when I didn't have a lot to fix them when I was I didn't run a store all the time like they do now because we live too far from the store. But anyway, I showed you how to sharpen your knife the other day. I'm, I guess it didn't show on. Well, it's still not showing. I'm going to have to put my. Okay. Now we'll see. Okay. I've got this little knife sharpener. And if you hold it like this, it slips sometimes and cuts your knife finger. So I'm going to set it. This drawer has got a front on it. I'm going to set it down in there like that to hold it. And I'm going to just pull it through like that. That way you'll always have a nice sharp knife. But anyway, it's real simple to do. But anyway, this is something I... First, I've got a skillet here. It's got bacon grease in it. I fried some bacon. Well, I don't want quite this much grease. So I'm going to pour a little bit of it out. That's probably plenty. If I need more, I'll put more in later. But anyway... Used to, when the kids was home, we lived out in the country. We couldn't just run to the store every time we needed something to eat. So if I had five kids and three hot dogs, what do you do with them? Well, what I would do, I would cut them up like this, little, make little wheels out of them. That way they went a long ways with five kids. Then, after I got them cut up, I put them in my skillet. And I fry these. Just brown them a little bit until they're kind of like they've cooked them. And the kids loved them. It was simple to make. Let me get some bread just a minute. See how they're starting to brown? That's what you want them to do, just brown like that. Then what you do, I'm going to use cornstarch because I hang in a flour right now. So I'm going to take cornstarch to use for my thickener. Put some cornstarch in there. Or flour. I would use flour if I, was, if I had it, but I don't. I'm just using cornstarch. Get that good and hot again. But my kids loved this. And it was fast and easy and it went a long way. Now I'm going to take my milk and gradually pour it in there until it thickens. This is fine. It don't make no difference what you use. You can use cornstarch or flour. But it's getting kind of thick. I think I need a tiny, tiny bit more milk. Don't pour much. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in it. Okay, there's my hot dog gravy. Can you see it? Okay, what, what I'd do then, I'd get them each a bowl and we'd take bread. You can either just lay it in there and put the bread on top of it, but we always took it and tore it apart like this, put a little bowl. 
we again we always call it crumbing up our bread and then we i'll show you what i'm going to do as soon as i get through with this but they loved it even the little ones loved it so anyway this is hot dog gravy pour it over there every every one of you get some hot dogs But I think if you try it, you'll like it. Oh, that's hot. But anyway, that's hot dog gravy. And that's what the kids would have for lunch lots of times. Mmm, that's so good to bring me back memories when my kids were little. Mmm, love that. Anyway, you can have it for breakfast too, put eggs with it. But, I'll chew this up. <laughs> You have a very blessed day and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.